Hello everyone and welcome to a new video about structure analysis. Within this video, uh, I will be talking about very important uh, topics and it will be some special cases uh, in moment distribution method. Uh, we will be talking about a case when you have an overhang or cantilever and how to deal with that case, how to solve it within a very short time that can save you like 80% of the time if you solve it with the regular way. Also, a case when you have a joint moment at inter intermediate support, how to take this moment into consideration and how it will affect your solution using the moment distribution method. Let's start by the cantilever case. And when you have a cantilever similar to the ones that we can see here, how to deal with that case? Uh, in some textbook, you'll find that they solve for the three spans and it will take too much time. It will be very, very long. Okay, however, we can save like 80% of that time. We can solve it in a very easy uh, way by following uh, the methods that I'm going to explain now. Okay, first of all, if you have a cantilever like that one, so uh, you have to remove the cantilever and take its effect. So. You have a concentrated load here on a span L, so you just need to remove the cantilever. When you remove the cantilever, you have a moment at this joint B. The moment will be equals to P times L. So this will be a joint moment at this joint B. In addition, you will have a concentrated load, which is P at this end. Okay, this is the first step, is to remove the cantilever and take its effect on the beam. Then, we have to calculate the fixed end moment and the stiffness for the new shape. Forget the old shape and now deal with the new shape. You have two spans, span BC, it will be pin or ruler connection at uh, joint B. You have continuity at joint C, okay? So the K for that member BC, it will be the special case 3EI over L. Also, when you calculate the fixed end moment, it will be for the special case. It will be continuous from one side, and then from the other side. Okay, end the spans or fixed pin. So th this is very important here. For the span here, it will not be continuous as in the original case when you have a cantilever. Now we remove the cantilever, so we will deal with the new uh, shape. And in this case, the span BC, it will be assumed as fixed from one side as pin from or ruler from the other side. In this case, you have to take all the special case consideration when you calculate the stiffness, the distribution factors, the fixed end moments. So the fixed end moment BC in this case will be zero because there is no moment at this point except the external or the joint moment. This is, we'll deal with that one in a special case or a special way. But the fixed end moment due to this uniform load is zero. The fixed end moment at the other end here will be WL square over eight because this is a fixed pin case. Also for the stiffness, the stiffness for that member, it will be the special case, three EI over L, three EI BC over L, not the four EI over L if you consider the cantilever uh, at the uh, original drawing. Then what to do, you draw the table joints, Okay, forget the beginning here, joint A. We start from joint B, joint C, and joint D. Then member BC. At joint C, I have two members CB and CD. Then at joint D, I have member DC. Distribution factors, because this is pin or roller support, so it will be one. And the other distribution factors will be calculated as usual. Then the important point here, you have to add a new row, a new line here. It's called joint moment. In this one, we will add the joint moment. You have a joint moment here at B. So this joint moment equals P times L at it, and it is counterclockwise rotation. So it will be minus P L. Then after the joint moment, you have to make some carry over. So if you have a joint moment here, it will make carry over to the other end and it will be half of that value. So it will be minus P L here. It, at the bottom here, it will make carry over minus P L over two. Then the rest will be as usual. You add the fixed end moment for the span. So fixed end moment at BC equals zero, fixed end moment at CB equals WL square over eight. Then you make distribution as usual. When you make distribution, it will include all the moments here after the joint moment. Joint moment will not be there. Okay, so the carryover 
the W, the fixed end moment, then you get the submission if you have any moment in the other side also, and make the distribution as usual, then carry over. So the idea here is to remove the cantilever, take its effect, put it as a joint moment, get the carry over, and then continue your work as usual. And keep in mind, when you remove the cantilever, the end support here will be pin or roller support. So this will be a special case. K is 3AI over L. Fixed end moment also will be as fixed pin connection, okay? Then go to, uh, let's go to case number two, when we have external joint moment. If you have a, a beam like this and you have external joint moment at one joint, intermediate joint like this, what to do in this case? We will calculate the fixed end moment, stiffness and distribution factor as usual, okay? Then for this moment, we are going to distribute this moment between the members at this joint C. So it will give us a moment MCD and MCB. How to distribute it based on the distribution factor CB and distribution factor CD. If this is clockwise rotation, the moment at CD and the moment at CB will be also clockwise rotation, will be with the same sign. So if this is positive, the moment at CD and moment at CB will be also positive. If it is negative, it will be also negative. So the MCB and MCD equals the original moment multiplied by the distribution factor with the same sign. Then we have to put all of these values in the table as the joint moment, similar to what we did in the case of the cantilever. So we add a new line here and we call it joint moment. Okay, in this joint moment at joint C, you will add the moment MCB and MCD that we already calculated from the distribution factors. Then we make carry over. So this one will give some carry over in, uh, at joint D, as you can see here. Then as usual, put the fixed in the moment, this make distribution and continue the uh, problem as usual, okay? So let's take an example and solve it together. And this example here we have three spans, two spans plus cantilever. Okay, and what to do in, in, in this case? The first thing is to remove the cantilever and takes its effect as we uh, explained in the uh, few minutes ago. So this is the cantilever. You have 2000 Newton multiplied by this distance will give you a moment of 2000 multiplied by two meters, 4000 Newton meter. We'll take this effect on the beam and we then we can remove the cantilever. So this beam now, it is change it from the two spans with cantilever is only two spans and you have external joint moment here at this final or last joint. And the load here, this load will not affect anything in our solution. Then the second point, if you have different inertia for the spans, we have to consider them also. Take the minimum one as I and the other one take it in relation to this I. So this is the minimum is EI because the E is constant. And then it will be here, the 300 divided by 240 times EI. So this will be EI and this will be 1.25 EI. Okay, this is the new uh, problem. Then solve this problem as a new problem. Forget about the cantilever and then you can continue. Calculate the fixed end moments. So fixed end moment, we have span uh, BC. Fixed end moment BC at this joint will be zero because there is a rural support. Then fix it in the moment at CB, it will be WL square over eight and it will be positive because it will be clockwise rotation. And then fix it in the moment for span CD will be zeros in both sides because there is no loads. Okay, what else? We have to calculate the stiffness factor. The stiffness factor for the first span will be the special case three I BC over L. So replace the EI with the correct one, which is 1.25 EI. This will give us 0.9375 EI, the other one here will be the original case, which is four EI over L, fix it, fix it. And it will be that one, remove the EI, and this will be the case. From the case, we can calculate the distribution factor. Distribution factor as joint B, which is roller support will be one. Then for joint C, calculate distribution factor left and right. Okay, equals the K for CB divided by the K of the joint. Then KCD divided by the K of the joint will give us these values. And keep in mind that the two values here, submission should be uh, equal to one. And then the joint D distribution factor equals zero because this is a fixed support. Then let's apply the table. The important point here in the table, we added the joint moment. 
at is minus 4,000 because it's counterclockwise, then we may carry over 50% of that one. Then as you usual, put the fixed in the moment, which is uh, 3,000, and then make distribution. For the distribution, you take all the moment within this part here is just joint C, minus 2,000 plus 3,000 will give us a plus 1,000. So the opposite will be minus 1,000. Minus 1,000 times 0.413, it will give us 413 times 0.587 will give us 587. Then we can make a carry over to the fixed support. You can put it in a special line or I put it here because this is the end of the problem. Then get the summation of the moments as you can see here, minus 4,587 minus 587 and half of that value. Okay, this could be the end of the problem, but if you want to draw the bending moment, how to draw the bending moment? For the cantilever, it is a determinate part can be draw, we can draw it without even doing anything because we can get the moment. Let's apply the moments on the span BC and CD. Don't forget to add the uniform load and for span CD, there is no load. So BC, it is minus 4,000. So it will be counterclockwise rotation, as you can see here. Then you have 587 CB is positive. So it will be clockwise rotation. Then CD, it will be again counterclockwise rotation. And DC, it's also minus, it will be counterclockwise rotation. These are the moments. So now we need to draw the bending moment diagram. The important in drawing the bending moment diagram is to draw the moment at the position of supports and at the end of the beam. Okay, at this support B, where is the moment? It is 4,000. Where we draw it, we draw it at the head side, okay, at the compression side. So this is a negative moment because it's pushing down here. So it is minus 4,000 Newton meter, this is the value. Then go to joint C, again, it is pushing down here. This is the head side, we draw it at the head side at 5,587. Then at the last one here, the moment is head side is up, so we draw the moment at the top here. Then we need to connect these points. From joint A to joint B, there is no load. It's only concentrated load here, and there is no load in the span, so it will be a straight line. Then from B to C, it is uniform load. So we make a dot line, and then because there is a uniform load, we have a parabola curve like this. It will go opposite to the direction of the moment. Then from CD, it will be, again, no load, so it will be a straight line, as you can see here. Then we can calculate the maximum moment at the position of zero shear, or we take a section to decide where is the position. This will be at 2.57 meter from joint B. This is, will be the uh, end of this presentation. We learn it together how to deal with a case when we have a joint moment, when we have a cantilever or overhang and how to deal with that in an easy and fast way. If you like the video, please subscribe, like, and uh, share, and click the bell to receive all uh, new notifications. Thank you for watching and goodbye.